At 10 o'clock, the news now in BBC One Northern Ireland with Hugh Edwards in London and Declan Harvey in Belfast. Tonight at 10, a big spending Chancellor delivers a budget which he claims will bring an age of optimism. In the red box, plans for a thumping £150 billion of extra spending over three years to fund new measures. Fuel duty cut, air passenger duty cut, alcohol duty cut, the biggest cut to business rates in 30 years. Growth up, jobs up, wages up. But on welfare, universal credit will now be adjusted so that working people will be able to keep more of their benefit. With inflation set to rise to 4% and experts warning that living standards are unlikely to improve, Labour was critical. In the long story of this Parliament, never has a Chancellor asked the British people to pay so much for so little. We'll be looking at the measures in more detail and the real terms rise in spending for every government department. Also tonight, US police say the actor Alec Baldwin was handed a gun containing a live round on a film set where a colleague was accidentally shot dead. And the Australian professional footballer hailed as a hero worldwide for deciding to share the news that he's gay. Later in the hour, we'll have Sports Day on the BBC News channel with all the latest reports, results, interviews and features from the BBC Sports Centre. Then from BBC Newsline, find out what the Chancellor Rishi Sunak's budget means for Northern Ireland. And detectives have arrested a man on suspicion of murder after a body is found in Portadown. Good evening. The measures announced by the Chancellor in today's budget mean that the tax burden is at its highest since the early 1950s and public spending is set to rise to the levels of the 1970s. Rishi Sunak explained that he was setting the foundations for a vibrant economy emerging from the pandemic in what he called an age of optimism. Well, on those big forecasts, inflation is likely to rise above 4% next year, but the government's own budget watchdog suggests it could be higher than that. Economic growth is forecast to be 6.5% this year, but could then fall as low as 1.3% after 2023. On benefits following the removal of the extra £20 universal credit, the Chancellor has cut what is called the taper rate, which he says will help two million families. But critics say that it does not make up for the loss. Now, for some of the businesses hit hardest by the pandemic, that's hospitality and retail and leisure, business rates in England will be cut by 50% for a year and taxes on some beers and sparkling wines will be cut. And just days before the UK hosts the Global Climate Summit in Glasgow, air passenger duty on UK flights will actually be cut, but will be increased for some long-haul flights, and duty on fuel will not be going up. Labour pointed to a tax cut for the banks and said that this revealed the government's real priorities, not those of working families. This report by our political editor Laura Koonsberg includes some flashing images. <laughs> 